All right, the generation that came of age during the extended blue state lockdowns, including in New York and the George Floyd riots, is showing us what they've learned. The adults who celebrated the passion of those who spat at the police, tore apart our cities, and ripped down our historical monuments created what we're watching tonight on college campuses. the January 6th <laughs> smash the window, right? That was a war crime, but they do it here, and it's like, well, get, do you want another pizza? All right, despite this travesty that we're seeing on campus, there is some hope. Two brave students at Columbia faced off against the angry mob as they tried to break into Hamilton Hall. Running circle blockade around these three. We're going to move them out. Let's go. Another human chain. Get someone I Joining me now, Rory Wilson and Charles Beck, the two students you just saw. Uh, you guys, first of all, major kudos to you. I don't know whether just to congratulate you or declare you insane for trying to face off against that mob. But Rory, <laughs> let's start with you. Uh, what made you decide to take that stand? Well, it was pretty much on the spur of the moment. I was, my friends got me out of bed, told me something was happening on campus. I ran over and I saw that it was pretty much chaos. People were smashing in the windows. Massive mob gathered outside of Hamilton Hall, um, piling up chairs on the inside and that sort of thing. So I wanted, just kind of off the cuff of it, wanted to show that I disapproved of what was going on, that this was completely inappropriate, destroying uh, the property of our university, and that this is not at all the way that we ought to conduct ourselves in any sort of discourse. And so I basically, I just wanted to register my protest against their protest. That's what I was telling them when they Amazing. were yelling at me and say, I, Amazing. I'll protest your protest. I'm free to do that. Well, Charles, you actually got dragged away, I understand, at one point. Here's what happened. Watch. You guys are the ones dragging people away. Right, look, this, this is assault. This is assault. You're shoving me. All right. So you I, 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 I got to ruin your whole life. Oh, sorry. You're ruining your whole life. I'm trying to get him and my other friend out. Okay, thank you. I'm trying to get them out. Why? Don't, don't mess Why are you trying to get us out? Okay. Charles, um, one of your friends said something to you to convince you to move away at that point. What, what was said? Yeah, that, that, that's, that's a good friend of mine who I've known for quite a couple years. Uh, so uh, essentially, he, he was really just, just quite scared for my, uh, for my health and safety. Uh, you know, he had sort of had a top, top, top field vision of it. Uh, and, and he was afraid that if I, you know, if I, if I, if I had remained there, that the crowd would have caused me serious bodily injury, even, even death. Uh, and essentially what he, what he whispered to me was, well, something along the lines of don't be stupid, don't get martyred for a building. Um, sort of the, you know, you know the, the idea that perhaps, well, per, 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 perhaps it wasn't worth getting that injured. But, you know, I, I can certainly see where he was coming from. Uh, you know, perhaps, perhaps part of the sort of move here was to, I wasn't really thinking to be entirely honest with you about my own health and safety. I was more so just thinking of, I mean, I don't know, thinking that someone needed to say something. Ideally, someone at our university could sort of say that, well, they didn't agree with what was happening, uh, and they understood uh, yeah. it as something fundamentally wrong. Uh, well, they don't, they don't want to debate, I mean, Rory. I, I that's, I, I, that's, yeah, so, sorry, sorry, Charles, but they, they don't want to debate. They want their way no, or no, the no, highway. No. <laughs> no debate at all. And you guys were, you know, frankly, potential roadkill if you got in the way of that. And you told one of our producers, Rory, that I guess you thought someone might have been following you on your walk home from Hamilton Hall. Is that the case? Yeah, it's hard to know. There were a lot of shady f people going around outside of campus. There were people in the crowd there that 
I'm not sure if they were students, but definitely on the outside. Uh, there was footage of people climbing into or John Jay Hall from outside of campus, uh, all in black. And yeah, there was a car that was full of masked people who seemed to be keeping an eye on us. Uh, I'm not entirely sure, but we stayed in together as a group with some of our friends to make sure that we got back safely. Well, I heard both of you had a run in with this professional protester, this woman, Lisa Fithian. Watch this. We as students at this university are fully free to stand here yes, you are. in public. You you public part of the university. university. We have way more of a right. We have way more of a right to do what we're doing than any of these people have to destroy this building. No one's destroying the building. No I beg to differ. People have broken the windows, the windows with the intention of taking this what building so that they can so force the so they can take the university of You know what? I'm glad to be here, Rory. Okay. <laughs> Rory. Uh, or Charles, I guess now. We're, we're going to talk more about her in a moment. But how did this Lisa introduce herself to you? Did she tell you that she was a protester, uh, well, Charles? She, she claimed that she actually was, was just there to make sure that no one got hurt and was just there to, to ensure that, you know, that, you know, you know, people sort of stayed out of the way who, who shouldn't have been in the way. She actually tried to sort of uh, present herself as more of a moderating character who was sort oh, yeah. of there to, to just sort of, uh, I don't know, ensure the, that, that, that things were, were quote-unquote safe. She also said that she was, you know, quote-unquote, with the university in some capacity, uh, though I had no idea what that meant, yeah. I'm being honest. Yeah, so hey, Rory, uh, being with Rory, the what's your, sorry, Rory, what's your message to the Board of Trustees tonight? Who could shut this thing, should, could have shut this thing down a week ago? My message would be that they just need to get things under control and give graduating seniors their commencement. It really, seniors, uh, people who are seniors right now have gone through a lot in their college career, and so it, it's the least that they can do to just get things under control and allow people to finish up their, uh, their college career with an actual graduation. Rory and Charles, um Come, come to me if you need work, because uh, we're always looking for brave students. Uh, fantastic. Good work, and thank you for actually representing normal America. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.